Police Cars, The World's Best and Worst We explore the wonderful world of the police car, looking at the fastest, most exotic, and most inappropriate police cars on the planet. Police forces across the world use a wide variety of cars on a daily basis. Unfortunately for them, they're normally pretty boring. To make up for it, we've taken a look at some of the fastest, coolest, and most interesting police cars around, as well as some of the worst. In Britain, the police use all sorts of cars, but most of them are catastrophically dull. We've moved on from the days of Austin Metro and Vauxhall Cavaliers chasing down our high streets, but they've been replaced by dull modern hatchbacks and saloons, mostly. A few forces do have more exciting and exotic motors on the fleet, though, and our European neighbors are at it too. Offenders would have a tough time escaping some of these high-performance patrol cars and they won't even get to enjoy a ride to the Nick once apprehended. Many of the more exotic cars are used purely for PR purposes or to act as a deterrent many don't even have seats for passengers in the back. Of course, not all police officers get the opportunity to track criminals in a supercar. Mundane Ford Focus and Vauxhall Astra Patrol vehicles are the backbone of most modern constabularies and we've also had a look at some of the embarrassing vehicles being driven by the world's police. These less impressive police cars easily outnumber the supercars so if the idea of exotic police vehicles has made you consider a career change, you might want to check the forces fleet before signing up. The world's best and worst police cars. Ford Focus R's. Engine, 2.3 liter 4 CYL turbo. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.7 seconds. Top speed. 165 miles per hour. Back in the 80s, the Essex and Suffolk police tried out a Ford RS200 to see if it would work as a patrol car. Despite reporting it as a stunning hit it never did go into full use. 30 years on, though, a new fast Ford is being tried out, the Focus R's, which is on test with police forces across the UK. With 345 bhp under the bonnet, it's certainly not short of pace, and unlike the RS200, it offers up rear doors for transporting suspected criminals, and a boot large enough to store traffic cones. Plus if they get bored, the officers can try out drift mode on a deserted stretch of a road. Aerial Atom PL Engine, 2.0 liter Honda VTEC, 350 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour, 2.5 seconds. Top speed, 155 miles per hour. The Ariel Adam PL was given to the Avon and Somerset Constabulary following the announcement of Ariel's upcoming motorbike. Based on Ariel Adam 3.5R, the PL's power output has been increased from 240 to 350 bhp and will reach 0 to 62 miles per hour in an unbelievable 2.6 seconds. While it's fully decked out in a police livery complete with blues and twos, it's unlikely it'll ever be used to nick light-fingered cider enthusiasts in the area. However, were they to be, they wouldn't stand much of a chance in getting away. Caparo T1 Engine, 3.5 liter V6, 345 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 2.5 seconds. Top speed, 205 miles per hour. The Capro T1 is less of a patrol car and more of a high speed pursuit vehicle. The mid engined, rear wheel drive two seater was put into police livery by London's Metropolitan Police. It can blast from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, and while it's unlikely to hit its 200 mph plus top speed in any pursuits down the Hackney Road, at least it'll get people moving out of the way. Designed by the engineers behind the McLaren F1, the Capro won't give offenders much chance to escape. Ford F-150 Engine, 5.0 liter V8, 385 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour, 6.6 .6 seconds. 
top speed, and slasha. Few vehicles are more intimidating than the massive Ford F-150 pickup, but in America, it's a staple of life, and has been the best-selling vehicle for years. So, just like the British police forces use the best-selling Ford Focus, it follows that American forces should use the F-150. The police pack is available on Super Crew and Super Cab F-150s fitted with either the 5.0-liter V8 or 3.5-liter EcoBoost engines, and is fitted with all the equipment you'd expect from a police vehicle. Don't expect to see it on these shores, though. Mercedes GLE Coupe Engine, 5.5-liter V8, 577 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour 4.2 seconds top speed 155 miles per hour aussies love a v8 and with the gle 63 s coupe the australian police force even get two turbochargers tacked on as a bonus the sleek coupe body might not be the most practical for transporting prisoners but the jacked-up ride height should make mincemeat of the rough outback roads. This is only a loner car, though, from Mercedes in Australia, it's part of a campaign to boost road safety in Victoria. Porsche 911 Engine, 3.8-liter Boxer 6 CYL, 370 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.5 seconds Top speed 186 miles per hour. Porsche celebrated 50 years of its iconic 911 sports car this year, and it's likely the police in Berlin were keen to join the party with their 2005 model, which has been fettled by German tuner chart. This 370 bhp machine can cover 0 to 62 miles per hour in only 4.5 seconds on the way to a 186 miles per hour top speed and helps keep wayward Berliners on the right side of the law. Mercedes CLS Brabus Rocket Engine, 6.3 liter V12, 720 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.2 seconds Top speed, 227 miles per hour Not content with the 911 the German authorities were also treated to this Brabustungi CLS, dubbed the rocket. With a top speed of 227 miles per hour and 720 bhp on offer, it's not hard to see where it got its name from. Brabus has given it all the kit needed to keep the added power in check. Unlike some of our other hot cop cars, it'll also fit a couple of offenders in the back. Lotus Evora Engine, 3.5 liter V6, 345 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.4 seconds. Top speed, 178 miles per hour. Used by Italy's National Military Police, the Carabinieri, this fully liveried version of the Lotus Evora has caused quite a stir. It delivers 345 bhp and is capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, so is a match for most traffic on the country's autostrada. Lotus also takes care of maintenance and trains the drivers on how to handle the supercar. The Norfolk Police Force has taken delivery of one recently, too, but it's for engaging the public rather than chasing crooks. Alfa Romeo Giulia QV Engine, 2.9 liter V6, 503 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.9 seconds. Top speed, 190 miles per hour. The Carabinieri are no strangers to fast Alphas, having used 159s in the past. But the new Julia QV is the most powerful yet packing a staggering 503 bhp from its twin turbo v6 engine forces in rome and milan have taken delivery of a julia qv each and they will be used for rapid response transporting organs and escorting vips spiker c8 engine 4.2 liter v8 400 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour 4.5 seconds top speed 
187 miles per hour. This Dutch supercar was fittingly daubed in the red and blue colors of the country's police force. It also has a specially made stand to hold the light bar, as there's nowhere for a standard static bar to be fitted. And the rumbling Audi sourced V8 has would-be criminals thinking twice. Lamborghini Huracan LP 610-4 Engine, 5.2 liter V10 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.2 s. Top speed, 202 miles per hour. The Italian police didn't have long to wait to get their hands on the new Lamborghini Huracan. The fully liveried Huracan Polizia was given to the Italian state police by Lamborghini complete with the all-important blue lights. The car's 5.2-liter V10 develops a crook catching 602 bhp. Aston Martin 1-77 Engine, 7.3 V12, 750 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.7 secs. Top speed, 220 miles per hour. This is as special as they come from the legendary British maker. As the name suggests, the Aston Martin 1-77 was a limited release of just 77 models worldwide. Beautifully handcrafted materials and an obsessive attention to detail mark the car out. It's no slouch either, with 750 bhp from a V12 and a top speed of 220 miles per hour. Bentley Continental GT Engine, 6.0 W12, 567 bhp Top speed, 197 miles per hour 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.3 secs Another British car, the Bentley Continental GT is a fine choice due to its superb refinement and quality. It's handmade at Bentley's famous crew factory, and every effort is made to produce the perfect car, tailored to buyers every request. The 6.0 liter W12 engine catapults the car to just shy of 200 miles per hour, and dispatches the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 4.3 seconds. Ferrari FF Engine 6.2 V12, 651 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.7 secs. Top speed, 208 miles per hour. Practical and Ferrari are two words you rarely hear in the same sentence. The Ferrari FF is an exception, though, because it is a genuinely practical supercar with space for four occupants in a shooting brake body steel the perfect choice for transporting criminals to the station quickly, thanks to its 651 bhp V12 engine. The world's worst police cars. Exotic police cars costing vast sums of money to buy and run are inappropriate in their own way but not in the same way as these models. Here are some of the world's worst police cars. Lotteriva. Engine, 1.5 liter, 80 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 14.5 seconds. Top speed, 95 miles per hour. Due to the trade embargo with the US, Cuba has found it difficult to obtain an appropriate fleet of police cars. But its friends in Russia helpfully suggested the Lotteriva and they weren't joking. The four-door patrols the streets of Havana with a comically large siren, but it's unlikely anyone sees the serious side. Smart Fortwo Engine, 0 0.9 liter, 89 bhp. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 10.4 seconds. Top speed, 96 miles per hour. Officers in New York City may struggle to be taken seriously when they trade their classic Ford Crown Victorious for the tiny smart Fort Woe. The NYPD has bought 250 of these Diddy City cars, presumably to beat the crush of NYC's traffic congestion. But as they're almost as wide as a conventional car, we can't quite see the benefit, apart from when parking, of course. Toyota Prius Engine, 1.8 liter, 134 bhp 0 to 62 miles per hour 10.1 seconds top speed 112 miles per hour in a bid to add to their green credentials 
police in Berlin are attempting to offset the emissions of the Porsche on their fleet, above, with these hybrid Toyota Prius patrol cars. They're painfully slow, yet incredibly efficient and when running on battery power, officers would be able to sneak up on criminals.